has every member voted? If so, the clerk will close the machine and ascertain the results. There being 92 ayes, 5 nays, 2 members absent and not voting. I rise really to oppose this bill for and to support any energy production here in West Virginia, job creation, and economic prosperity for West Virginia. We have a regulatory scheme in place that has served our state very well. The energy industry has been an enormous contributor to the economic prosperity in West Virginia. They do a great job. And here we are uh, at the threshold of a great opportunity for West Virginia with this Marcella shell and so forth, and we get caught in sometimes this political vortex that we have to do something, when really nothing is an alternative that would serve our citizens better. We hoped to have a special session, and sometimes they say, better be careful of what you wish for, because you might get it. <laughs> and we got a special session, and, and we all know that there are imperfections in the special session process. Um, there, there's never quite enough time. And in particular in this bill, the, they really rewrote most of the bill. And so it's been especially hard to evaluate the bill in a short period of time. There, there were major revisions, uh, more than just minor tweaks. And I think in some areas, uh, it just, it, it simply doesn't go far enough. Uh, but there are also some good things. And I want to take this opportunity to at least commend the administration for bringing this to a special session. I may not have agreed with everything that they have done or said or the manner in which it was done, uh, but we are going to end up, I think, putting some things into effect immediately that need to be put into effect immediately and that will ultimately benefit the state and the industry and her people. We may, I may have lost, or some of us may have lost the battle, but we haven't lost the war. There's still a lot of time if we can get some provisions in there with the uh, increased fees and inspectors. We still have a chance to put protections in for the environment and for the citizens and the health of the communities. And uh, I hope that I can get your support in January for 20 some separate bills that I have already sent down to drafting to try to strengthen the regulations for the citizens of this state. One of the problems I have with this bill is that it doesn't exactly help small business. If you have six well heads, that's an average of $35,000 in fees. It's not exactly small business friendly. Uh, that being said, I keep hearing one particular thing that's being said all day, and that was that there's no winners. Well, I sat back and I happened to find a winner, government. The DEP alone is going to collect an estimated $2 million in fees. It's going to create more jobs for the government. Is everyone happy? Probably no one is particularly happy. If any one of us had written this bill on both sides of the aisle, we'd probably have 135 different versions of it. Are the environmentalists happy? No. Are the surface owner folks happy? No. Are the developers happy? No. And we're probably about where we ought to be. Looking at this issue, I'm reminded of an instance when I was a young boy when I wanted a puppy, and I told my parents that if I would just get that puppy, I'd take care of it, I'd feed it, I'd walk it, I'd be the just best, best owner of that puppy possible. And I have a little concern in that regard regarding how this is going to happen from here on in with this development of Marcellus Shale. Having said that, um, this is an issue that needs to be addressed, and if not now, then when? We have put together a bill which I believe will move the state forward. It is not everything I would want, just as many speakers have said, and I'm not going to go into all of that. But in the big picture, we have set down, and we are on the verge of setting down a policy that will communicate to the business community, not only in this state, but throughout this nation, that we are in fact open for business. These are the rules of the game. We encourage you to invest in this state. We want to work with you for your development and profitability as a company, for the growth and development of jobs in this state for our citizens, the creation of wealth with businesses created to support the drilling industry, 
we're in fact open for business, welcome your investment, and want to work with you to create a better opportunity for all West Virginians. I'm very disappointed about some of the things in, that we weren't able to do in this bill. And there's a pretty long list of them. On the other hand, I think it is preposterous, to s the notion is preposterous that this industry does not need no more regulation. 